Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome, I'm so glad that you joined me today. I hope you've had fun keeping up with my adventure going to Kentucky and Indiana, visiting with Sabrina K. Country Crafter, and going on quite a spree, I'd say. I had some fun in those Tuesday morning stores. My neighbor Noni wanted to see everything I bought. I told her it was all in the videos except for a few things, tiny things that I picked up the last day on the way to the airport at a Tuesday morning in Louisville. Other than that, you saw everything. I had a great time. I just ran out of space is actually what happened. I ran out of space. I should have taken more treasures to Sabrina. I'll keep that in mind next time. While I was gone, the Hero Arts My Monthly Hero Kit came and Noni opened it up because I knew she couldn't make it. She couldn't wait 48 hours till I got back. She would have died. So she opened it up. But what I wanted to share with you is the stamps and dies. So the kit itself, the way it works is this is the set of stamps from the kit itself. And these are cute as can be, you guys. This month, life is better at the lake. Greetings from my happy place. You could use that for your craft room. Sending a splash of love. It's your birthday, relax and enjoy. Wish you were here, jump in. These are fabulous. As someone who spent a lot of time on a lake when I was little, these are fabulous. I love these. And greetings from my happy place. You could use that a bunch too. And then of course, the My Monthly Hero kit always comes with the dies. So just imagine it, okay? Like here's the boat, here's the kid jumping in the lake, the mountains the trees, the dock layout, that would go with either one of these. And this one, I'm sure is set up to be a layered stamp. And these two, so you could stamp this in a light colored brown and then hit it with a dark brown to get the, t the texture of the boards or gray and brown, however you want. Maybe your dock is painted, I don't know. Whatever you wanna do. The, the kit itself, of course, came with the stamps, the dies, and then some other stuff. What? Blue pearl embossing powder? Yeah, clearly she didn't want me to see that one. Okay, then she got excited with the add-ons, all right? And so what you can do when you order is, because they're shipping you a box, you can add stuff to it for not very much extra. You're not dealing with as much shipping. This one I can see, I'm sure was a selected add-on. It makes perfect sense. Thinking of you, you are the catch of the day. Hello, sending summer joy, have fun. And it's all, oh, look at the dog. Look at that dog. Okay, love the dogs. Those are too cute. This one is just adorable. Look at that, you guys. So cute. So you could have your little kid fishing and then the dog. Or for me, I would have the dog sitting on the dock. Too cute. So great add-on, and then these aren't related, she just wanted them. This one is, let's do s'mores, roam, let's get lost together, take a walk on the wild side, explore, the adventure begins. Kind of like this little cabin, that's pretty cute. This set is called The Adventure Begins, and again, these are all hero arts, okay? And this one was called Lake Time Fun. And if you're not familiar with how to pause your video or slow it down or back it up, maybe you should message me. I'll help you with that. This one she might have ordered by accident, but it is definitely cute. Has a van and a camper. You make me a happy camper. Hello from my neck of the woods. That's really fun for a card maker, especially when a lot of us live really far apart. Wish you were here, sending smiles across the miles. Motel vacancy, a little teepee. This would be cute with the Wander collection. I think that's what it is, my mind's eye. A tropical one, look at the little hammock. That is super cute. I hope you guys can see okay. Take it easy, shake your pom-poms. Palm-tastic, sending a bit of paradise. Hello. This one is the texture. See, they've set you up so you can layer your palm tree. And that's what these are too. So you could have your light green and then your dark green on top of it, or you could do green and heat emboss it with gold. And same for your trunk. You can do different things and get your texture. 
whenever you have layering stamps, think about light color, then dark color, or a color, and then some sort of heat embossing. Just play with them and find what you like. So flowers, palm trees, docks, whatever. Ooh, you could have gold accents or like a copper accent on your bra on your dock and like a sunset with a blended sky. That would be cute. Okay, you're so wonderful. Thinking of you. Heartfelt thanks. These are kind of hard to read. Wishing you the most beautiful day. She loves, absolutely loves poppies. And this is called Color Layering Poppy. We look at poppy dyes and poppy stamps and poppies everywhere we go and then test them out. So maybe this is the one. Maybe this is the one. So those are the Hero Arts, uh, the My Monthly Hero stamp and die set and then her add-ons for it. Then she also got me, you know those little hearts, the iridescent hearts that Sabrina K got me hooked on? Noni found a package of them at a Dollar Tree near us and picked it up for me because she knew that I would want them. And then look at this. They're littler and they're stars, but they're the same iridescent ones like the hearts. I am so excited. Maybe the colors are a little different. They're more yellow blue. These hearts go beautifully with the Splendor collection. The iridescence is the right colors. These seem to be a little bit different color. They're more yellow, blue, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm wearing red, messes it up. Not sure. Random updates. Okay, I am working on, number one, if you are in the Portland, Oregon area and you are watching this mid, like July 15th, before the this Saturday, you should message me on Instagram. I'm going to a big crop this weekend in Portland and there's space available. So it's it's a pretty fun deal if you're into that. So if you're not already signed up for play all day, you might want to talk to me about it. Take a look at this card. I am working on my card swap for the weekend. I've never done a card swap, you guys. This is a big deal for me. You have to make six cards that are exactly the same. This is not glued down at all. So that's why it looks a little sloppy and, and crooked. I'm still planning and I have all of them laid out. And what I actually did was I made eight. And I think if you're doing a swap, make one or two extra because I want to send one out to one of you guys. And maybe you would have one that you messed up along the way and then you wouldn't have to restart the whole process, right? Like if my dog eats this heart right here, I don't have to redo and go back and get the dye machine and find the mirror paper and all that. It was just something I was thinking of. Do at least one extra. Here's what I want to know. Do you like the ribbon crossing under the heart as a focal point? Or do you think the ribbon should go? I was kind of thinking it'd be off to the side like this and it'd be kind of like this and then the hello would be like this. And so the ribbon is the focal point. See? Brings it all together. Or no ribbon. We are torn here in Oregon. I will not tell you which way, but you need to vote. So in the comment below, tell me with the ribbon or without. Let's see, other than that, I'm still working on the IM journal, so that'll be coming back around soon and I'll give you an update. I'm hoping at the crop this weekend that I can work a lot on this journal and make some big progress on No Paper Left Behind. And I realized I didn't tell you guys anything. I told you about Sabrina, but I didn't tell you about Kentucky and what I thought of it. I thought it was fabulous. It was beautiful. It was rolling hills. I liked the how the freeways were kind of cut into the stone. And so you could see the... My grandma was a science teacher and she always talked to me about geology. So I was looking at the rock formations as we were driving along. There were beautiful trees and rolling hills and beautiful green grass. And I think it was... It definitely lacked evergreen trees, right? I need evergreen trees. But other than that, it was just gorgeous. Those are my updates for today. And be sure and leave me a comment about your thoughts on the card because I need to finish those for Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.